was aimed to close all debate, it ended up opening a Pandora box. I can tell you that this situation is really awful for a lot of women right now. Uh, not only teachers, uh, women generally in the street, women who wear the, the hijab like me, have been uh, are being harassed in the street. They are facing uh, negative comments. Uh, if you go to social media, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of those negative comments. So they are overstressed, they are delusioned, they are like Everything they're, they're facing right now is not really positive for them. They, this is totally irrational because there's meant to be a problem here and there isn't a problem. There's a solution to this non-problem which is itself a big problem because it's going to create deep division, a sense of alienation among the populations that are. this is aimed at. They're not going to feel we're not accepted in Quebec. Uh, anybody who come along and say, you know, you guys, you think you're Quebecers, but you aren't, you turn against this awful society, either leave it or oppose it, or, you know? And it's just a very, very bad development for our society. We haven't seen such a raise in Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, or plain racism as we see nowadays, in ages. To go and teach is not easy. Of course, you have to go through a certain uh, amount of years to, to get your diploma. But it's not about, it's not like any other job. Teaching is like a passion. If you're not passionate about teaching, you cannot do it. That's why we see a lot of people who start as teachers and then they end up abandoning because it's too hard. We still think that it's, uh, it's worth it to be a teacher. But to ask those women to pick between their identity and the, the job they're most passionate about is totally unfair. Nobody would have uh, to pick between their identity and their job. Nobody. When I work, I have to follow the rule of my work and give the right information. When I'm an educator, I have to follow the education education program. I'm a teacher, I have program to teach my... So the kids do, doesn't see what you have on the head, but what you have inside as a person. That's what the people doesn't see. We are doing exclusion and those those women are living like a depression and their, their family are affected by this law too. When the, when the woman cannot find a job because she wear a hijab. I think we'll eventually get rid of it, maybe partly because if you look at the polls, the younger people are less for it, people who met, actually met Muslims or immigrants are up for it. So in the long run, we're going to get rid of this. But the question is, if it stays a long time, how much damage is it going to do? So the faster we can get rid of it, the better. Work if they refuse to remove their scarves. Students are denied internships some are even told to abandon their